Hello and welcome back. The writer of The Witcher came out and said what everyone's thinking. That's the basis of this one. I'm Will, I'm the host of The Board Book Geek. Like, subscribe and do the usual. And I'm having technical problems my side, so everything's going to be voiceover until I figure out what the hell is going on. Hi. So, let's talk about The Witcher. Now, The Witcher is one of my favourite fantasy series. It's a phenomenal read. Very layered, very deep storytelling. And it's not scared to have fun with its own tropes. Netflix adapted The Witcher, and I think season one had potential. Was it perfect? No. But it had potential. And then progressively, they moved away from the source material in ways that don't really make sense, because they very obviously wanted to tell their own story. And because Henry Cavill wanted to tell the story of The Witcher and those characters, and how the books are portrayed, he's out. And I think the small audience that kept watching it were only watching for him, especially recently, considering the numbers on The Witcher. Season 4 has announced Lee Hemingsworth is going to be in the role, and then you have uh, people behind the scenes of The Witcher coming out and saying that Henry Cavill is this and that for liking the source material. And there was even a private Discord chat of journalists going their way through every piece of Henry Cavill interview and archive to find something remotely, air quotes, problematic. I'm not kidding. Didn't quite work, did it? But this is my thing. You have a rich world, but you hire people that insult the audience and call us stupid, and they did the same with Wheel of Time, and Rings of Power, by the way, that view the source material as problematic and openly make fun of it. Fantasy is basically dead in the water right now. Then they did the prequel series to The Witcher based on a sentence in a book. And that thing was ghastly and cheap and generic. Like, everything about that show just looked like it came from the same props department as Willow, as the Rings of Power, as Wheel of Time. They all look the same, and I did a video about that recently. You have this wealth of source material that it, the reader wants to see on screen. We don't want to see strong female characters reduced to MacGuffins. We don't want the Witcher reduced to some barbarian and we don't want the stories that we love to be messed around with, and that's ultimately the problem. If you dare question them, you are labelled an ist or a phobe, which I find hilarious. And the one thing I will say about The Witcher, I think the casting initially was perfect. I love the actors they got as the roles. I love it. I think it was so beautifully done. And Yennefer, I think, was just Brilliant casting. She really portrayed that character well. But the series went away from the materials in ways that just felt shallow, and it reduced The Witcher to a sum of its parts. And that's ultimately the problem. The writer has come out and said they didn't listen to him and criticised the series, which rightfully so, and it's good to have a writer saying that, and I'm probably thinking... There are probably people at Netflix going, oh no. Um, and there have been a few damage control people on the internet. But the irony here is, we have a new Witcher book coming out, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. I own the Witcher series, and I got into the Witcher through the games. So, long story short, I, never, I didn't play the first game until it was remastered, and came out on an OS X, uh, Mac OS. I'm aging myself now. And then, but the second game I played on Xbox 360 and the third game I played on Xbox One and I double dipped and got it on Switch because it was on sale. And you know what? I love those games. I think they're brilliant. I think the third one is the better of the games. The first one is a little bit awkward, but the third one I really think is just phenomenal. But, again, source material. The games didn't try to adapt the source material. They did their own story, but they kept things very, very in keeping. And there's obviously a bit of time between the events of the games. Although they do reference events from the books and the books. They intentionally keep them quite separate. And I'm glad they did that. They're not pretending to. 
mostly. On the other side of it, the TV show is a failure, and it's a shame, because it has so much potential, and I think Netflix are the wrong people to adapt it. Actually, I think modern fantasy on television is basically dead at this point, because it's all generic, tropey girl boss in action, or reducing male characters, or reducing good female characters, some of their parts, which really annoys me. Like, if you read The Witcher, and read those characters, male and female, they are strong. They are memorable. And season two and three of The Witcher has reduced these characters to just archetypes, which is a shame. I wish I could read in Polish. I really do, because I'd love to read them untranslated. But I can't, which sucks. And just great fantasy literature that I wholeheartedly recommend to anyone who loves fantasy. This definitely is the Swords and Conan-style fantasy, but with far more layers. It uses the Conan-style fantasy and goes into kind of more high fantasy elements, and it kind of blurs those genres and lines. But it's a shame. They also have kind of got rid of the Slavic mythology in the TV series, which I don't know why they've done that. Because it's so rich and so deep, and it's just been stripped back completely. It just feels like Netflix wanted to put a fantasy skin on a generic show. And it's always a little bit concerning when you see writers and producers, people saying, well, we have the material, but we want to tell our own stories. Please stop doing that. These are not your stories to ruin. These are not your stories. They're our stories. And people need to know their place. They, like journalists and writers and all of these sort of TV people, need to know their place. These are our stories you're screwing with. Rings of Power is a prime example of that. So is The Wheel of Time and Willow and countless other fantasy properties. Just give us the material we want to see. Is it that difficult? It is when you openly hate it, openly mock it, and openly destroy it. It's a travesty this has happened, and I think it's a genuine shame. And that's coming from a massive... I, I really did enjoy the first season of The Witcher, and I've re-watched it recently. And I say this, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. It's... It's one of those where it obviously had the DNA and the bones. And I think it did really well in that sense, and it had potential. And then all of that potential was just stripped away. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. As always, I will talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon for keep up with me because I'm shadow banned as hell. And I will hopefully figure out my technical issues and go from there. Bye, guys.